Okay, so uh, your parents, I, I think, are from Albania, yes. right? Yes. Uh, so how do you think people from Albania look at you? How do they perceive you since it's unusual for them to have an international star? Yeah, I, I mean, um, you know, I, I feel, you know, people in Albania, they support me a lot in everything I do. I feel very, very lucky um, to be from there. Um, it's it's also my opportunity to be able to show people over that they're able to do whatever they want and whatever they put their mind to mm -hmm. and um, even though you're from a small place doesn't mean that you can't reach um, the world really yeah. so yeah I'd, I'd like to be an example and to show people that they're able to do whatever they, they put their mind to uh, at this festival uh, this year, we are kind of asking women about how they are perceived in the industry. Uh, you did some modeling. Do you think that it affects even now uh, the way people look at you? Um, I think women in, in, you know, women in general are at quite a disadvantage. I feel like we have to work a lot in order to really kind of be recognized for what we do and we have to work a little bit harder even you know if sometimes we do a better job than than um, men um, I think that the key to to what we should do is really just teach the younger generations and teach them about um, the women that are taking over the world and to kind of start creating a different mentality in everybody's mind which is really important and um, you know the most important thing for me is music and I try and let that speak for me on, on my behalf. Mm -hmm. uh, but your music is, I think, about self-empowerment. Would you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. I feel like every time I'd go into the studio and I'd, I'd start writing a song about something that made me really upset, I'd kind of stop myself and be like, I no longer want to seem weak and I don't want that person to think that they made me feel that way. I want to change it, I want to channel it into a way where I feel a lot more confident about a situation and something that made me feel better and, 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 and by doing that I started making songs that made me feel empowered and seeing other young women and, and not even just young women, just women in general and, and different um, just people of all ages kind of come to me and, and be like, you know, that song made me feel empowered, I feel like that's that's the only thing I've wanted and if I'm doing that then, then I'm gonna carry on. Uh, before you released your album I think we got to hear five or six singles. Yeah, uh, do you think that nowadays we have that tendency to listen to songs instead of albums? Um, you know I, I know that, that, that a lot of artists even in, in the previous years would only release like one or two songs and then would come out with an album. I feel like now times are really, really changing and a lot of new artists have to release a lot of music for people to find out about them and, mm -hmm. you know, through st streaming services it's obviously very different because the bigger artists will instantly get a lot more plays. So you have to release a lot of music for people to become a bit more familiar with you. And um, I feel, you know, for me personally, all the artists that I fell in love with was through their album. Mm -hmm. without even knowing which ones were their singles like Nelly Furtado and Pink and I listened to them because I just loved the album as a whole so for me it was really important to create an album as a full body of work mm -hmm. and um, I you know I, I think there is a potential of artists just releasing singles and that's fine that's completely fine because it's you know it's it's making music a lot more accessible and people you know it means that you can just make music and release it straight away mm -hmm. um, but Personally, I'm I'm an I, I really enjoy the the you know having an album out and being able to create another one and I hope albums last forever because there's something really special about them. I guess in some interview you said that you are kind of obsessed with social media. Uh, how do you think social media uh, affect the way young people um, get to hear the music? I. I I feel like social media is just a, another way for you to become closer with 
your fans, but also with your friends, for you to be able to showcase who you are as a person for people that don't really know you and don't get to hang out with you every day. And at the same time, it becomes a platform for you to be able to share your music or to share whatever. It doesn't have to be just for musicians. Sure. It's for anyone that has any influence on the internet. Um, and, you know, I, I feel like social media is really helping people nowadays really get out there. There are so many new artists that, are, that don't really even need you know, a, a label, the support of, of, I don't know, just, di I don't know, various different people because the social media is such a key tool in all of this. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I love it. I find it really fun. I love talking to my fans on it and they've done so much for me. And because I'm, I'm always so busy, social media is the only place where I feel like I can really just take some time out and spend time with them and talk to them and make jokes with them and reply to tweets and, you know, it just gives me the opportunity to, to do that. So I'm, I'm grateful for social media and I think the internet's great.